All right, what's poppin' boys? Headed here. Um, different video today. I am making a how to screen share. Um, this is basically the basics. So, you know, if you guys are like SS verified on a different server, uh, you guys already probably know these uh, different screen share methods. But I'm making this video because you know it helps people helps people learn the basics, and you know they might be able to find some cheaters. Um, obviously, I would get more practice from this, but you know, at least it's uh, you know something to learn off of. So you know, I'll be using process hacker i will not be using any other program you know uh it's 2019 boys people who, like use paladin or s ness tool i don't trust that i mean you know just in my opinion i just don't trust that i'm not going to download it so if you guys don't trust it either then you can always use uh this method or these methods i'll be doing so yeah let's get started you guys all right so first thing you want to do right you freeze a person in game all right you say join ts three minutes or whatever all right give them the NES code if you guys know don't know what any desk is, then I'll put the link in the description. Just gotta send them a, just gotta like I don't know, download it. Then there's a nine-digit code that they have to give to you, and uh, yeah, just go from there. That's how you that's how you get into their uh, screen share. Go to options, snooper settings, and I uh, gotta see what version they're on. So you know, I'm on Forge 1.7.10. You know, if someone um is X-raying, then these are the recent texture packs they used. So let me just give an example. I'm using Faith EUM3 right now. If I were to switch to say Gosu default, it would show Gosu default. So if someone's like using an X-ray texture pack, you know it is. Uh, it will pop up, I believe. Uh, since I'm using like two texture packs at once, that's why overlay is right here. I'm uh, I'm using the overlay one too. But uh, yeah, that's pretty useful also. Um, this, when you go to mod options, this shows your mods. Um, that is also pretty useful. But it does not show the how big your mod is. Let's go to resource pack. Ignore this, by the way, boys. I was testing. Okay, open resource pack folder. So once you're here, you guys can't see. All right, once you're here, go to dot Minecraft. Then go to the mods folder. I'm on 1.7.10, so I'm gonna click that. And right away, click on view. Make sure hidden items is checked. Go to options. You click on this thing, by the way, boys. You click on that. Click on view. Then uncheck high protected operating system files. Bop. Now this basically shows, you know, if any hidden files are in here, then it'll show. Obviously, I don't have any hidden files, so I don't. Nothing else is going to show up. But you got to make sure the kilobytes are right on all the mods. You know, for me, I don't have a client in here. Everything is right. So, for example, you know, something to look out, out for. There's many clients, but this is just an example. If someone's using Time Changer, right, and there it says 20 kilobytes, the normal size for it is 15. So be careful for that. Um, that's just one little thing I want to show you guys, but. You know, if you guys, uh, you should make an SS guide for your server if you are staff on one. That would be useful. Uh, let's go back to roaming. Something else you want to do. Go to Microsoft. Windows. Then click on recent items. So these are the recent items, guys. Um, it only shows dot jars and like dot zips. And like obviously documents, videos, stuff like that. It won't show dot exes though. So just click on date modified. I'm not going to do that because I have like uh, personal stuff when I do that. But basically when you click on date modified, it shows your most recent files you've opened. So that's basically that. Also, guys, um, to check the recycle bin, like when they uh, last modified it, hit Windows key R on your keyboard then type this in. Type this in the, the, like, the same way. It'll be in the description. Press OK. And... These are the recent, uh, you know, the, the dates I modified it. So 10, 19, 9, 32. So I've either deleted something from it or I took something out. These are like last times I like deleted my recycle bin. And that is basically that. So, you know, if they delete something, uh, then it should be, the date should be modified like that. So if, you know, you can ban it for period recycle bin during SS or before SS. So say if you froze them at 9.30, and they cleared it like at 9.32, you would ban them. Um, or yeah, I'm pretty sure that's modified recycle bin, but yeah. Um, I'm not going to go through like downloads or anything like that because that's just kind of useless. 
Uh, I use process hacker for that. But again, type Windows key R percent temp percent. This basically shows, um, you know, if they use a, a crappy auto clicker. So like, I don't know, seven clicker. All right, then you want to type in J native hook. So basically guys, nothing popping up obviously because I don't have an auto clicker, but it would say J native hook here. And you know, say if I logged on uh, the server at nine o'clock and this is a J native hook for 905, 910, I would just ban them because you know, they are, they're already on the server and they probably been using it. They mo Yeah, they have been using it because they did launch it. So that's, that's some easy shit right there. Um, this is like a how to SS like kind of basic guide. So one more thing I want to teach you guys. All right, we're, we're going on process hacker right now. We're, we are doing process hacker. So if you don't have the download for it, the link will be in the description. Process hacker is hundred percent safe. You can run a virus total more safe than like any other SS tool on the planet. Type in explorer.exe at the top, right? Double click on that. Make sure you're on memory. Um, you keep that checked. Click on strings four, and press OK. Once you did that, go to filter, contains case insensitive. Now, if you guys probably didn't know, I've done this in many videos. Type in PCA client, just like that. Then press OK. So this will pop up. You click on it, then save it. All right, I'm just gonna save it to this PC. Sure, OK. Then just type in search results and this dot dot txt will pop up click on it and this is so useful boys so useful this is how i find most of my cheaters um if they, i don't know if they're using the client like daemon or something like that it's so easy um this is basically when i launched my minecraft everything after this is like what you launch so i've only launched process hacker exe um, so say if I, uh, I don't know, launch an auto clicker, it would literally pop up, uh, I don't know, somewhere around here. Like, it, I don't know if they launch an auto clicker, like before you launch your Minecraft, that is still sus, but it is a hundred percent, you're a hundred percent able to ban someone if they launched after your Minecraft, after the Minecraft launched. I, I want to, I want to show you guys why. Okay. Listen, boys. Yes, they could have been on multiple servers when their Minecraft's been launched, but here's how to check. All right, Java w.exe. Right, you could either check from here, go to general, and it shows how long their Minecraft's been launched for. So mine's been launched for 11 minutes. So if they're on the server for like 10 minutes, then yeah, that they're obviously like they haven't logged on any other server than Bell or you know that particular server. And you can also go to back to percent app data percent dot Minecraft and then go just go to the logs. I can't go in um, these logs because I I had anti cheat alerts on. I'm not allowed to show that. But you can basically um, click latest dot log and it will show uh, you know the multiple the servers they've been on since they launched their Minecraft. Or you can just do slash playtime and game with them. But yeah, that is pretty useful. Back to search results. So yeah, um, something else you want to look out for. I'm going to just copy and paste this. I wish I had a client to demonstrate, but I don't. So say if they launch something, I don't know, just random. Random numbers, random letters like that, right? Most likely a, a client, you know, I found clients like these. For example, demon client. Um, I forget other clients, but you know, auto clickers too. Many auto clickers. And, you know, copy and paste it. Windows key R paste it into the run command if it if nothing shows up then that means they delete it um but you know you're gonna question them like what what the hell is this they're gonna be like oh it's uh csgo cheats you know that's what some guy said to me head ass yeah it's definitely not um but yeah you can always check from the recycle bin if they delete it too as i showed you guys earlier yeah, I'm not really going to go more in depth because that's basically the basics, but that's all you need to know. You know, if they launch a, something after their uh, Minecraft like this, for example, then it's obviously something to look out for. You're going to have to investigate more into that. But, you know, if you guys want a part two, let me know. The reason why it's just basics is because like I'm not trying to get these any of these like things patched. Oh, my Minecraft is frozen. So 
Like, I'm not showing you guys any strings because I don't want to get patched by, like, client owners, client developers. So that PCA client thing, uh, you know, it's a public method. I believe I've done it in many videos other people have. It's just very useful. I, don't, I, don't, I, I see people using Paladin. It's a... Uh, obviously, that's easier to find clients, but, you know, if, if you don't have access to Paladin, then just use this, you know. So if you guys are like me and... Uh, don't trust stuff like that and use that process hacker 100% safe and that's basically it boys you know if you guys want to see a part two let me know i could probably add on some stuff uh different techniques and yeah i mean if this guy this is probably like a boring video but you know it's just it's basically for people helping out people learning uh learning how to freaking do this screen share but yeah, screen sharing in 2019, boys. That's how you do it. <laughs> Alright, boys. That's basically it. Drop a like if you want to see another one. And yeah, peace out.